Hey guys, welcome back to I Think Care. My name is Ingrid. Every month I have this tradition to share with you what I eat in a day. Basically, I have a playlist if you want to take a look at previous videos to give you ideas on how I manage to be vegan with food allergies. This is just a quick reminder if you happen to be new to my channel. I am vegan, but also I'm gluten-free, I'm soy-free, I'm not free. I don't eat any chickpeas, neither peas or lentils because I happen to have an allergy. And also I don't eat any sesame seeds. I happen to have an allergy as well. I try my best to share ideas and hopefully this is going to give you some inspiration and you can also incorporate these meals into your everyday. I really hope you guys enjoy my day. I'm going to be sharing what I eat for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a few snacks throughout the day. Without further saying, let's start this video. I feel like having waffles this morning, so let me add half a cup of my gluten-free waffle mix. One tablespoon of coconut oil, here you can substitute it with whichever oil works for you. A quarter cup of apple sauce and a quarter cup of plant-based milk. When I mixed up the dough was too dry that I ended up adding another quarter cup of plant-based milk and lots of vegan and allergy-friendly chocolate chips. And finally, just mix it all. With this mix, you're gonna end up making five or six waffles. Next, what I like to do is add two tablespoons of my waffle mix into my waffle maker. What I did with this one is that I added a little too much dough. This is why it looks so messy, but nothing wrong with it. You can always cut the edges. Decorating waffles is my favorite part. The saddest thing about this is that I actually ran out of my coconut whipped cream, so I improvised and I ended up adding coconut condensed milk, which honestly is a nice option. And I also added some cinnamon sugar on top. I honestly love adding cinnamon sugar on top of all my desserts. But feel free to switch the toppings and just do the ones that work the best for you. Morning guys, so this is my breakfast. I had to improvise because as you noticed, I wanted to add some coconut whipped cream. But let's try this. This is actually my favorite combination for waffles because it honestly tastes like you're having a chocolate chip cookie for breakfast. These are so good. Oh, and what I added on top. These are so good. So what I added on top is the sweet coconut condensed milk, which makes it taste even better. If you want to learn how I make some pumpkin waffles for this season, then make sure to review the video that I'm going to leave you above. But these are delicious, so let me just enjoy my breakfast. When it comes to eating gluten-free, soy-free, nut-free, legume-free bread, it's honestly extremely difficult to find a brand. I think I got really lucky with this one. It's by Energy. So this is the bread that I use. And let me show you my lunch. It honestly looks delicious. It literally looks like a regular sandwich. You wouldn't believe that it's completely allergen-free. All right, so let me show you how I made this sandwich. I toasted the bread. Then I added some lettuce. I went ahead and added vegan provolone cheese, a little bit of my chickenless salad. Then I just closed it and cut it in half. I love to add some sides. So for that, I'm just going to add avocado, tomatoes, a bit of my chickenless salad, and some pumpkin seeds on top. So the chickenless salad is on my ebook. If you want to take a look, I'm going to leave you the link below. But let's try this. This looks delicious. So, so good. Jackfruit to me can take whichever flavor you give it. So in my case, I try my best to give it a chicken flavor and it literally took it. I'm feeling like having a snack. So I was thinking I'm just gonna make myself a smoothie. That way I can add some protein inside of it. Let me share with you really quick how I do it. This one has dragon fruit, bananas and mango. <laughs> All right, that seems pretty good. Then I get plant-based milk. 
there it's fine and after that i'm just going to add my protein powder so the one that i use is this one by terras it has 21 grams of protein if you do two scoops but i'm actually just going to do one scoop for this one So one scoop of that, and then I'm just gonna blend it. <laughs> I feel like all of you are gonna be like, she only drinks pink stuff, but not all the time. This one just sort of happens to be pink because it has the dragon fruit, but it's delicious. Just like a quick way to make your smoothies. The fun thing, I don't know if you can see, is that it's a bit thick because the fruits were frozen. And as simple as that, there you go, now you have a snack. I'm not exactly sure why, but lately I've been really snacking on rice cakes with vegan cream cheese. This one, honestly, at first it wasn't my favorite, but now I'm so addicted to it. Mm. But you can even substitute the cheddar vegan cream cheese for avocado or any other spread that you have. Even hummus if you're not allergic to it. For dinner, I'm just going to make a vegetable, I think. You can never go wrong with them. So let me add some cooked kidney beans. If you have no idea how to cook them, I'm going to leave you a tutorial above and below. Then I'm going to add some quinoa, some spinach leaves. I still have some of my chickenless salad. So I'm just going to add a bit here. I'm going to add an avocado half and some vegan cheddar blocks. I've been obsessed with this one by BioLife. And you know the other thing that I've been obsessed with is this lemon and pepper seasoning from Target. And to finish, add a little bit of salt. This is such an easy way to make your dinner. If you have leftovers, you can always put them together and they taste delicious. And honestly, I cook my quinoa in my rice maker. If it helps you, you'll be able to save a bit of time with that. My dinner is as delicious as it looks, I promise. Veggies make my life so much better. All right, guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed my ideas. Now you know what I have for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack that happens to be completely vegan and allergen-free. I feel like if you happen to have any of the allergens that I used throughout the video, you can easily substitute those and I know not every one of you happens to be allergic to nuts or to all the seeds that I'm allergic to. So if you're not, then please feel free to add them, especially if you're making salads or side dishes. Like incorporate those. Just because I don't have them, it doesn't mean that you cannot have them. Always adjust depending on the allergies that you have. And if you haven't subscribed to I Think It and you would love to continue watching more vegan and allergy friendly recipes, then make sure to subscribe right here. All you need to do is click this red button down your screen and then hit that bell once if you want to receive notifications every time I upload a video. I upload videos every Sunday. If you want to get a copy of past videos and greeting recipes, that's going to be on my blog. So here is my site. Over there, you can always download the ingredients cards of the recipes that I make. Specifically for this video, there's not going to be a post, but then if you visit my website, you'll be able to see great recipes for previous recipes that I've shared these past months. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week with a brand new video. Bye, guys.